Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Smart and I welcome you to ClassTeta.com uh, This is a question and answer series by ClassTeta.com and we are discussing different questions and their answers So for today we are discussing our question You are installing two new hard drives into uh, your network attached storage device Your director asks that they put they be put into a RAID solution that offer redundancies over performance which would you choose? We have five options here RAID 0, 1, 5, 6 and 10 So the correct answer of the question is the appropriate RAID level to use when the director asks for a RAID solution that offer redundancy over performance and you are installing new hard drives into your network attached storage devices RAID 1 To explain this in further if your director has requested uh, a RAID solution that offer redundancy over performance the RAID 1 five six appropriate options should be considered is read one now to explain this in further read zero does not offer any redundancy and any splits data across multiple devices to improve the performance this would not meet the director's requirement for redundancy read one mirrors data on two separate drives so if one fails the data is still available on the other drive the option provide the highest level of redundancy but has reduced the capacity since you are only able to use half of the total capacity of two drives RAID 5 uses three or more devices and strips data across them while also using part information to allow for one drive failure without data loss. This provides a good balance between capacity and redundancy. RAID 6 uses a similar approach to RAID 5 which is to use two sets of parity data to allow for two uh, drive failures without data loss. This provides even more redundancy the RAID 5 but requires more drives and has a slightly lower uh, write performance due to the additional parity data. RAID 10 combines the feature of RAID 1 and RAID 0 by uh, mirroring pairs of drives and the stripping data across them. They provide this provides them uh, both redundancy and performance but it requires a minimum of 4 drives and only half of the total capacity is usable. Ultimately the choice of RAID level will depend on your specific needs and requirements such as number of drives available, the desired level of redundancy and the performance requirement of your application. That's the correct answer. If you are looking for uh, more questions you can go to the classteater.com and there is an ask section. You can go fill out the form and I will answer as soon as I can. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe our channel and recommend to your friends. If you have questions regarding this uh, video you can leave in the comment section and I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you again. I uh, will meet you in another question. Until then.